Hello everyone and welcome to iExambi. So in this video we are going to talk about SEBI IT descriptive paper description. So what we are going to do here, uh, as you know that SEBI is having two phases of the examination in the written mode and uh, the first level is of the MCQ1 and the second level of the examination belongs to the descriptive paper where you actually have to code for certain number of problems and the total number of problems that appear in the paper 2 thing is 5 questions. So here I will show you that how much weightage each particular portion from the descriptive paper hold individually and also some of the sample questions that can uh, be helpful for the actual examination pattern. So first you have to understand that to clear this particular examination in the phase 2 you need to have an aggregate of 40% in the IT descriptive paper. So in phase 2 you have English and this IT paper. I am not talking about the English one but this uh, for IT descriptive you need to get at least 40% out of 101. So you need to have 40 marks out of 100 marks. So this is the minimum level you need to pass to get into the interview. After that thing what you have in your plate when you get to know the syllabus of SEBI phase 2. So we have three pillars and these are the three pillars that are like skin manipulation, data structures and the algorithms. As you can see the breakups for every particular portion it holds string manipulation for 20%, data structure for 40 and the algorithm holds for 40%. So what will happen it will be like you will be having five questions and these five questions will be uh, like categorized into two and three categories. So the first category will be of 10 marker, the second category will be of 30 marker and the third category will be of the 40 marker. So the 10 marker questions will be three and 130 marker and 140 marker so definitely the level of difficulty will be easy for the 10 markers and so on it will increase till 40 marker but here is the breakup like how much a particular portion will hold in paper 2 now as you know that you have these three things that is string manipulation data structure and algorithm you need to understand how you have to approach each section so first of all you need to have a command over the string manipulation it is basically an individual topic where you can just uh, manipulate with the strings without knowing anything about the data structure and the algorithm. So if you don't have any background or uh, these two things are weak for you, you can start definitely individually for the string manipulation. First complete the string manipulation then go for the data structure and at the last once you are done with these two pillars go for the algorithms and then you can practice up to a certain level of moderate questions to help you in the algorithm part. Now I will show you some of the sample questions which can be very helpful for you to code for phase 2. So for the string manipulation there are some sample questions which have been shown on the screen right now. So the first question you can see like a program to remove the vowels from the string. So you can be given one string with the spaces or without the spaces and there you have to identify the vowels and you have to remove it. So you have to write an efficient program and the function that will be responsible for that particular thing will be given the question itself and you just have to understand what parameters it is taking and what the result it is given. So this is one of the uh, question. Uh, these questions which have been listed here are actually the 10 marker uh, question. So these will be very easy in nature. The second one goes like remove all the duplicate characters from the given input string. So what you have to do if you have a string and there are duplicate characters what you need to do you need to remove all those duplicate characters. So you just have to find the unique characters which are present in that particular string. After that the third question goes like write an efficient program to print all the PNC that is the permutation and combination for all the given string. So if you have one combination and that particular combination of the string contain let's say 11 letters. So you have to write all the permutations for that particular 11 letter. So this is one of the things. So you have to write an efficient program. You just not need to calculate by the normal PNC method. You need to write an efficient program where you can get all the combinations which are out there. Then the last question from the sample test of the string manipulation goes like check if a string is a palindrome or not. So this is basically the thing where you just have to return true or false whether a particular string is a palindrome or a not. Okay. So these kinds of questions uh, you can get uh, many from the internet as well and from our website also. You can just check and you need to practice these kinds of questions for a 10 marker uh, question in the actual examination. After that let's focus on the data structure part. So in the data structure part there will be more, more on the basis uh, 
uh, feature of the data structure so you can uh, see like if they want to test you on the arrays they can combine something with array and string so that in that particular question they can check onto both arrays and string concepts of yours but if they want to check you on some other particular data structures they can give you something like to detect a loop in the linked list or to remove a loop in the linked list they can also ask you to merge two unsorted linked lists that to in the sorted manner so the resultant linked list that you will be getting should be in a sorted manner it means the elements that you are going to combine from the two linked lists should be arranged in a manner where they are sorted either ascending or descending after that thing uh, next question belongs from the stack one that where you have to uh, check whether the parenthesis of a particular equation is correct or not like a balanced thing is being implemented or not this question you can easily check with the stack or otherwise you can also opt to go by tree then the next question is like the minimum and maximum number from the stack so as we know that we can access only one element at a time from the stack in that particular case how you are going to find a minimum and the maximum value from that particular stack after that thing there are two things which are related to tree and the graph like printing of a tree in a vertical manner so we have tree and the tree goes like from top to down and left to right what you need to do from top to down you have to first iterate and then you have to go again uh, from the bottom to up and print the elements of the tree in that manner you have to print the tree in the vertical thing after that thing detecting a cycle in a graph this is very uh, easy one because every graph will definitely have a cycle but if the graph is belonging from the tree category it will not have so detecting a cycle in a graph is also one of the problem which can occur in the data structure you can also place this last problem under the algorithm section as well so these are some of the sample question which might be helpful for you to understand the pattern of the sebi now the last portion belongs to the algorithm and here you can see i have listed some of the questions which you might have read in your engineering as well so like finding the minimum cost in the graph so if a graph is a directed and a weighted graph you have to find the minimum cost of a path from one particular node to another particular node so it is basically the minimum spanning tree but that too for a particular node okay after that thing you might have been aware of the page faults that happen in operating system so you need to write a code that will help for the implementation of the least recently used that is the lru algorithm in the operating system for the page fault after that we have coin exchange and change problem where a particular amount of currency will be given to you and you will be given some of the options like 5 uh, rupee coin or 10 rupee coin or like 1 rupee coin and then a particular uh, currency need to get exchanged into uh, the donation of that particular coins which are available to you so how many coins for each particular currency will be there that you need to list out after that thing swapping of odd and even bits of a binary converted number from the decimal number so there will be a decimal number first you need to convert that number into binary number and then you have to swap the odd and even bits and you can definitely give the output in the decimal as well so it will be a decimal converted binary then exchanging and swapping of the odd and even bits and then you can get easily the final resulting output so these kinds of question might appear in the 40 marker questions which are being listed here so string manipulation 10 marker questions data structure 30 marker and have some insights from the 10 marker as well if it considered to be array and string combination an algorithm definitely of the 40 marker so these things you can prepare in your head like you can start by writing the codes for these particular questions so i think i have given you uh minimum 12 to 13 uh, sample questions for which you can code and you can check whether your code run properly or not and one thing you need to write your code only in c++ java or python do not use any other programming language because cb is programming uh like phase 2 programming is allowed only in three languages and you are not allowed to code apart from these languages after that thing uh, one highlight that i wanted to give you guys is like the notification of sebi grade a it will be coming soon in the third week of january you can expect that particular not notification here in the third week of the january so keep uh, yourself updated with the trends of the sebi patterns how you are going to prepare and just gear up for the phase one preparation because the notification is just around the corner after that thing we are being uh deciding on to holding a free webinar 
on to YouTube for those candidates who are having any kind of doubt regarding SEBI uh, examinations. So it can be of any level of the examination, either pre or mains or interview or how to start or if you are stuck somewhere. So we are also doing that particular thing and uh, to register for that webinar, if you want something like that to happen, you need to register from the link that has been given below in the description box. You need to check on that description box and uh, just register yourself and we will be conducting and giving you the details of the webinar that will be closely for those only who will be actually interested in attending that particular webinar. So that was all from my side. If you have any doubts regarding anything for the SEBI uh, pattern either in any of the phases, this one was specifically for phase 2. But if you have any doubts, you can just write that thing onto the comment section and we will be happy to help you out with our answers. So for that time, if you just find this video informative, just like the video and uh, do subscribe the channel to get regular updates from our side and um, press the bell icon so that you can get regular updates whenever we will come online. So you don't have to search for us, we will directly come into your notification. So that was all from my side and see you in the next video.